my Lord Jesus Christ, because of your love for us, you remain night and day in the blessed sacrament, full of mercy and of love, waiting for, calling, and welcoming everyone who comes to visit you. I believe that you are present here on the altar. I adore you, and I thank you for all the graces you have bestowed on me, especially for having given me yourself in this sacrament, for having given me your most holy mother, Mary, to plead for me, and for having called me to visit you in this church. I now speak to your most loving heart to thank you for this great gift and to make amends to you for all the insults given to you in this sacrament by your enemies, promising to adore you in all the places on earth in which you are present in the blessed sacrament and in which you are least honored and most abandoned. My Jesus, I love you with my whole heart. I am very sorry for having refused your infinite goodness so many times. With the help of your grace, I resolve never to offend you again. Unworthy though I am, I now consecrate myself to you without reserve. I renounce my own will, my affections, my desires, and everything that I possess. I give them completely to you. All I ask of you is your holy love, final perseverance, and that I may carry out your will perfectly. I commend to you the souls in purgatory, especially those who had the greatest devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Blessed Virgin Mary. I also pray to you for all poor sinners. Finally, my dear Savior, I unite all my desires with the desires of your most loving heart, I offer them to the Eternal Father and ask Him in your name and for love of you to accept and grant them. What a wonderful sight it must have been to see our dear Redeemer that day he sat down by the side of the well, tired out after his journey, to wait patiently and gently for the arrival of the Samaritan woman, that he might convert her from sin and save her soul. Jesus, tired of the journey, was sitting by the well. It is exactly in this way that this very same Jesus lives now with us all day long on the altar, where he has come from heaven itself. Every altar is a well of grace where he waits for souls and invites them to stay with him at least for a while that he might win them over to love him perfectly. From every altar where the Blessed Sacrament is present he seems to speak to us all and say Why do you avoid me? Why do you not come to visit me seeing that I love you so much? and that it is for your sake I remain here in this humble state. Of what are you afraid? I have come on earth not to pass judgment, but to do good and save all those who come to me. I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. That is why I have hidden myself in this sacrament of love. Let us try to realize that just as Jesus Christ in heaven lives forever to make intercession for us, as St. Paul says, so in the Blessed Sacrament he remains continually, night and day, interceding for us, offering himself as a victim to his eternal Father to obtain for us God's mercy and countless graces. Therefore, the holy Thomas A. Kempis says that we ought to come to Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament without fear of being punished, and that we should speak to him without any feeling of restraint, just as we would to a close friend.
Since then, my hidden Lord and King, you wish me to treat you as a friend. With complete confidence, I shall open my heart to you and say, My Jesus, you who love us human beings so much, I well realize the injustice that we do to you. You love us, but we do not love you. You are kind and good to everyone, yet so many hate you. You wish them to hear your voice, but they will not listen. You offer them graces, and they refuse them. My Jesus, is it not true that at one time I also was ungrateful? and displeased you as much as they do. Sadly, this is the truth. But during the days of life that still remain to me, I wish to make amends. By doing all that I possibly can to please you and console you, I hope to make reparation for the unhappiness I have caused you. Tell me, Lord, what your will is. I wish to carry it out without any reservations. Make it known to me through obedience, and I hope to be able to do it. My God, I sincerely promise you that from today onwards, whenever there is a choice, I will always choose what I know to be more pleasing to you even though that choice should cost me the loss of everything, parents, fam friends, esteem, health, even of life itself. Let me lose them all, if only it be your will. Happy would be that loss, my God, when everything is sacrificed to satisfy your heart. I love you, my good God, you who are more worthy of love than anything else that is good. In loving you, I unite my heart to the love of the seraphim. I unite it to the heart of Mary, to the heart of Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I will love you alone and that always. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Enter 
Blessed Amadeus wrote that Mary, our Queen, is constantly in the presence of God, pleading with him and interceding for us by her powerful prayers. He tells us she is well aware of our worries and our difficulties, and being the gracious person that she is, has a mother's sympathy for us and helps us with a mother's love. My most loving mother and my intercessor with God, you can see at this moment my spiritual anxiety. You see my danger and you are praying for me. Pray, pray and do not ever cease to pray until you see me in heaven, thanking you for having made sure that I am saved. Most sweet Mary, the saintly Blosius tells us that after Jesus, you have sure and certain means of salvation for your faithful servants. Now I ask for this grace. Grant me the happiness of being your faithful servant until I die, so that after death I may go to praise you in heaven, where I will be certain of remaining close to you forevermore, as long as God is God. Mary, my mother, grant that I may belong to you always. Most Holy Virgin Immaculate, my mother Mary, you are the mother of my Lord, the Queen of the world, the advocate, the hope, and the refuge of sinners. I, who am most in need of mercy, come before you today. I offer you my respectful devotion, and I thank you for all the graces you have granted to me until now. In particular, I thank you for saving me from hell, which I have so often deserved by my sins. I love you, most lovable lady. Because of my love for you, I promise to honour you always and to do all in my power to make sure that others also love you. In your hands, I place all my hopes. I entrust the saving of my soul to your care. Accept me as your servant, Mother of Mercy. Take me under your mantle. Since you have such power with God, save me always from temptation, or rather, obtain for me, until my death, the strength to overcome them. Of you, I ask the grace of a perfect love for Jesus Christ. With your help, I hope to die a happy death. My mother, I beg you, by the love you have for God, to help me at all times, but especially at the last moment of my life. Do not leave me, I plead with you, until you see me safe in heaven, blessing you and singing your mercy for eternity. Amen. That is my hope. May it be so. Sweep over my soul
sweet.